Hello, my name is Jeremy and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about the switch statement. And the switch statement is relatively close to an if statement where you can still take different values and try to evaluate those and then produce the outcome that you want. Here you can see that I made, I'm going to call it the grade calculator. And how it's going to work is we're going to have three qu quiz grades. We're going to find the average, and then within our switch statement, we're going to go through the process and assign this letter grade. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. We have our PHP tags. Okay, so I'm going to give you the rough skeleton of what the switch statement looks like, since I said it's similar to an if statement, but still look it looks different. You start off with the words switch, okay, and you get your left and right parentheses. And in here, we're going to have some variable that's going to cause this to proceed through the different uh, cases that we're going to have. Okay, we're going to have our left and right parentheses. Oops, we're going to hit it with a semicolon, okay. Then we're going to have a case. Now, a case, like I said, is going to be the one that we're going to do the evaluation on, and then at the end of it, we have a a break. Now if we didn't have this break after this case, everything would run. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and del delete this for right now. As like I said, that's just a rough skeleton. So let's go ahead and let's declare some quiz grades. So we got quiz 1, we'll say it's going to equal to 98. And quiz 2, it's going to equal, oops, quiz 2, it's going to equal the 78, and quiz 3 will equal 100, okay? So we have our three quizzes. Now we need to find an average. So I'm going to declare another variable, and I'm just going to call it av, short for average. And how this is going to work is I'm going to take in quiz 1, I'm going to add that to quiz 2, and then I'm going to add quiz 3. No, so now that I get them all added, now I'm going to divide by 3. So that will give our average, because we have our 3 quiz grades divided by 3 will give us an average. And then I'm going to declare one last variable, we're going to call this grade for right now. And this grade is just going to be an empty string, and I'll show you the why I have this set up here in a second. All right, so we're going to start with our switch, okay, and we're going to switch on the average. So whatever the average is, that, that's what we're going to switch on. So we're going to put average in here, okay. Then we're going to have our left right curly brackets. Make sure you end it with a semicolon. Then we have our first case. And this case is going to be uh, average is greater than or equal to 90. Okay? And you have to end that off with the colon itself. Then, if the grade does equal, if the grade is equal to 90 or greater, we're going to um, call our grade variable that we got and we're going to assign the A to it. And with a semicolon and we're going to break. So what happens if this hits, if this average is 90 or higher, our letter grade becomes an A and this stops. Okay, then we have our second case. I'm just going to copy and paste. Control. Okay, so this one, if it's greater than or equal to 80, we're going to send the other grade to a B, and then break. Cap paste again. 70, we'll say equals a C. And, oops, if it's 60, say D. Then we have this thing that's called a default. 
So if it's less than 60, I should hit this default, which is kind of like your else statement and your if else statements. And we're going to say grade equals F. Oops, F. Okay. Let me just give a quick look over, make sure I get everything done correctly. All right. I'll save this file and I'll refresh this. As you can see, I have nothing to come up on the screen because I forgot to echo what I want to echo out. So we'll say echo your average is, put a space in between there, concatenate the average from up here. And then just to clean up, I'm going to put a break in here. Okay, and then our next cycle statement. Your letter grade is in whatever grade is. Okay, let's save that. Let's refresh the page. Uh oh. I forgot. What did I forget? Ah, let's see it. We got to can't need this right there. Oops. Save. Refresh. So our average with these three grades is 92. Our grade letter is an A. So let's go ahead and let's change one of these. Let's change this one to let's say 45. Save it. Refresh this page. Now our letter grade is a C and our average is I was running up to 74. So like I was saying before, like you have to have these breaks. Well, what would happen if I didn't put these breaks in here? Well, let's delete some of them. And we'll leave that last. Well, actually, we'll delete them all. We'll save it. Rerun the page. Since there was no breaks for it to stop to give us the correct letter grade, it automatically by default gave us an F. Okay? So let's put that break back in, refresh, now we get a D. Well, we still know it's not a D because we fall in the range of 70 or higher. So let's put back in the next break. Oops. And save it. And we get a C. Okay, well, no, well, now we got it right, but we're still missing a couple breaks here. So let's change this back to where it was. This was 100. We'll save it. We'll refresh. Then we had 92, which was right average, but C is not right. So it's important to keep all these breaks in here to, to produce the correct answers as well, like an A, and to get the 92. Um, if, you, if you have any questions about this stuff, uh, go ahead and um, send me a comment or a question. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe. Hope this helps you out, kind of gives you some other ideas of what you can do with PHP. You guys have a good day. Bye.